Something else that you can watch on WCNC Plus okay. is our Weather IQ YouTube channel, which this houses is true. Is true. Science Sunday. Yay, Happy Science everybody. Sunday, everybody. Um, okay, so today our Science Sunday, I feel like, is a little bit more basic, but I think really fun and on theme. Okay. So Caitlin and I, we were, we were talking, we were trying to kind of come up with something that was semi-Father's Day related. So we are going to go fishing. Yes, we are. And I've been like practicing my fish, so we'll see how good these look. Okay, so this is what you need. So you're going to need a glass dish or bowl, just anything with edges, because obviously you don't want water. You're going to pour water in here, so you don't want it to spill over. Um, I only have clear ones at home. Obviously, white would look fine, too. That's actually why I have the paper towels under here, so you can see better. Um, but essentially, you need one of those. You just need water. It doesn't have to be in a measuring cup. That's just what we use. And then any kind of dry erase marker. Um, doesn't have to be a specific brand, hashtag not an ad for Expo, but um, you just have to make sure that they're washable. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your little glass, if we wanna come back out, um, and essentially you're going to draw, it can be anything, but in this case it's going to be fish. So you can see I've drawn little fishies in here. Okay. Um, do you wanna draw they're, some They're anyways? very high class fish. Um, actually, I think that these can, fish can the um, look like bow ties, if we're being honest. Um, if you take the up cam too, you'll be able to kind of see. So you wanna let the kids draw. I mean, honestly, they can draw, again, whatever they want. In this case, we're drawing little fishies. Um, the reason why we're exploring this science-wise is because we're gonna talk about polymers. It's one of like the links and chains that, you know, a lot of the things that we have and the things that we use like water bottles are made of polymers, but there's different kinds. So you have silicone polymers, like a dry erase marker, and you have acrylic polymers, like a permanent marker. And we're gonna kind of see why the difference between using a permanent marker on your glass dish would have an impact. Am I having too much fun? Oh, wait, <laughs> way too focused. No, I'm gonna make matter. one very big because all fish aren't made equal. Some yeah, of them are ain't big that the truth? We were talking about that. Um, and so, like I mentioned, if your kids are like, I don't want to do fish, you know, it's whatever. Um, basically, the point between this, you know, with, with Kaylin and I talking about it, was we wanted to do something, you know, people can actually do. Maybe encourage the fathers right to do this with their kids. Um, so then you're gonna take your water. And you're going to try to find a corner maybe where there isn't actually a drawing. Okay. Just because so, you don't want to pour directly on there. But you're essentially going to slowly pour and see what happens. My fish are alive. They're alive. They're alive. So essentially what happens is that because dry erase markers are silicone polymers instead of acrylic polymers like a permanent marker, essentially the water is able to get underneath them and they will actually lift up and float. Look at that. Some you didn't, see on my some didn't yeah, make I know, it. Some, some decided they were not having it. But you can kind of see how my little fishies are floating. Yeah. Um, take a little string, right? Good go. Reel, reel your fish. Reel um, something else that I think is kind of cool too is that obviously they're floating now and they essentially look exactly like how I drew them. But we talked about surface tension, remember with the water a few weeks ago. And if you were to touch one of these, you break the surface tension and it just kind of looks like almost like you just like peeled something off. Okay. Your fish are better. Maybe it's because you've made them so big. Maybe I, I needed to make them bigger. I but I just think it's a cool good. little thing to, you know, we've done a lot of like experiments that caused, you know, explode, you know, like not explosions, but you know, like fizzing and things like that with baking soda and vinegar. But it's a good reminder to just kind of teach the kids, right, about the things that, you know, we use and we produce and what they're made of. And polymers are essentially continuous chains of the th same things over and over, like a water bottle, um, this little cup right here. Not so much a glass dish, but yeah. Right. Happy Science Sunday, baby. No, no explosions. Yes, no explosions, no explosions today. Don't Actually, do I was looking at a few and then I, um, for explosive, for because I feel like my dad and I would definitely do like a Mentos and a Diet Coke kind of thing. Yeah. But um, I thought that our bosses would be upset if we exploded in the kitchen. 